Hey y'all, it's me, and welcome back to another day at the Dawn's Daily Devotional, reading out of experiencing God day by day. Today is October 23rd, and the title of this devotional is called A Second Time. The verse of the day comes from Jonah 3 verse 1, and it reads, Then the word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time. The devotional reads, Jonah didn't like the assignment God gave to him. God directed him to leave his homeland, to go to the enemy city of Nineveh, a hostile and evil center of idol worship. There, Jonah was to warn the people of God's impending judgment and urge them to repent. The Hebrews hated the people of Nineveh. So the rebellious prophet fled in the opposite direction hoping for a different word from God that was more to his liking. Instead, God was determined that his word to Jonah would be obeyed, as seen in Isaiah 55 verse 11. He spoke to Jonah again. His second message was the same as the first. However, during the interval, Jonah had been buffed by storms and had traveled in the stomach of a fish for three three days this time he was prepared he was prepared to hear god again and do his bidding god also spoke to the prophet jeremiah two times as seen in jeremiah 33 1 verses 3 but jeremiah accepted god's word to him the first time the second time god spoke to him was to give him a fuller revelation of what he had been first told what God says to us will depend on how we responded to his previous word to us. If, like Jonah, we disobeyed his early instructions, God will give them a second time. If we obeyed his first directive, as Jeremiah did, he will give us a fresh and deeper expression of his will, as seen in Matthew 25, verse 23. If you have not received a fresh word from God, return to the last thing God told you and examine your obedience. Is the Lord still waiting for your obedience? Seek to be like Jeremiah and properly respond to your Lord's instructions the first time. Don't let me say it twice. <laughs> I really do think that, you know, one of the prayers that is very important to just keep top of mind of your prayer list too um, is the prayer to have spiritual obedience. It's almost like a monkey see, monkey do. Simon says, Simon says, jump, jump. God says, jump, you jump. God says, do this, you do it. So that way, like this devotional just said, if he's speaking to you, each time he you have an encounter with the Lord, it gets deeper and deeper. And you guys aren't stuck in this cycle like, do what I told you to do the first time. I'm not going to stop saying it. The second and third time, you just get to reveal his will more and more. You get to see that blueprint a little bit more better. You get to see, take a step back and see the full picture a bit better. Okay? So you know what the direction God gives you. I do too. I hear God all the time too. So, I mean, it's something that I bet you we can all get better at. Just listening to him the first time. So as you get to get closer to him, your relationship grows deeper and deeper and your understanding grows as well. So I'm encouraging you to do that today. Listen, listen the first time. Okay. He's going to be patient with you. And sometimes there are things that he wants you to learn or teach or do or do what like there's things that he wants you to follow that he's not going to stop saying until you get it until that lesson is finally learned so he'll be patient with you but i just encourage you to you know pray for that spiritual discipline once you hear god move do it do it and subscribe to this channel too <laughs> i hope you have a wonderful day today i'll see you tomorrow bye